Let me thank the chair very much, and let me acknowledge both my good friend, Mr. Cicilline, and my good friend, Mr. Upton, uh, for their thoughtfulness. Let me provide a response uh, and relief to my good friend from Florida. First of all, I champion uh, the heroes that run into burning buildings, uh, law enforcement, uh, that save uh, persons who are under attack, uh, the outstanding heroes of natural disasters and man-made disasters. They are valuable. But I do want to answer the question that we have seen, i.e. Uvalde, a lot of good guys with guns and nothing happened. And so this active shooter legislation is common sense. Let me dispel your fears. There is modern day technology that experts run by FEMA under the DOJ will in fact be able in this active shooter legislation pinpoint where the active shooter may be. I have here a list of shootings that have gone on uh, in Uvalde and Buffalo uh, and Boulder, Colorado and Atlanta uh, and Dayton and El Paso, Virginia Beach, uh, the uh, Two Island Oaks, Pittsburgh, Parkland, Sutherland, Las Vegas, Orlando and Oregon and Rosenberg and Oak Creek, I can assure you that the active shooter legislation would have been effective. Individuals had gotten the guns legally, allegedly, but no one gave to those people that a shooting was going on. In recent weeks and months and years, we have mourned the loss of life resulting from an ever-increasing number of active shooters. Communities in every corner of this country are suffering. For instance, eight people were killed roughly 30 miles apart in three spars, no active shooter alert. And if that had been so, someone could have been prepared that an active shooter that had a propensity to go into spars was killing people. And he ran around creating havoc. We know what happened in Uvalde, Texas. No notice that there was havoc going on in Robb Elementary School. Tell that to the parents. Highland Park, Illinois, a 4th July parade. Abruptly as the shooting came, if we had had that, there might have been relief. So please realize that we're here trying to save lives. And in saving lives, yes, we want a ban on the assault weapons, but we would hope that you would join us on a bipartisan bill that would simply notify people what is happening, not deny them their due process rights. H.R. 6538 is an important bill that would authorize the Department of Justice to coordinate an active shooter alert network. We'll be listening to law enforcement and those with technology to ensure that the system works. Amber Alerts for those of us in, in disaster territory and storm territory works. So, Mr. Speaker, I thank him so very much. I will not leave the floor without trying my best to give the names of Uvalde, McKerna, Lila, Miranda, Nevaya, Jose, Xavier, Tess, Rojeo, Alicia, Elihana, Elihana, uh, Annabelle, Uzziah, Jace, uh, Mate, Jayla, Irma, Eva, Amari, Alexandra, and Aletha, and those of this great community of Buffalo, Roberta, Margus, Andre, Aaron, Geraldine, Celestine, Haywood, Catherine, Pearl, and Ruth. These are people who have died and Highland will have their list of names added to this. Support the Amber Alert that makes the difference in an active shooter so that even though there are good guys out there, you can tell the people to save their lives for the little two-year-old that we'll hear about soon. I yield back. Support the legislation.